Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Now let's start with the concept of the Trinity. I want to give us some theological background so that we will really have that understanding. Look up please. Theologically speaking, there are certain words that we use in the body of Christ, but you will not find direct reference to them in the Bible. There are certain words that are of common usage among the body of Christ. And um, I hope you know, theologically speaking, that Christianity, what we call the faith life, was an extension. It came as a branching out from Judaism are we together Judaism is a practice that is hinged in the revelation of the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob that's where the journey so the Jews from where there is also a branching out of Islam a branching out of Judaism today and certain different branches you notice that most of these religions from the story of abraham they agree then as you branch different kinds of confusion and misunderstanding starts so there are certain words that we use in the body of christ but they are not directly referenced in scripture one of those words is the word rapture we use it to mean a system where believers are transisted out of this realm you know there are references like that but you do not find a single word rapture in the bible there is no mention of the word rapture now when you study systematic theology it's a system where you are able to use scriptures and draw meanings it is the basis for establishing doctrines it is the basis for explaining scripture according to systematic theology scripture must explain scripture are we together now for any teaching to become a doctrine the theological condition is that number one that thought that line of thought must be referenced in the old testament that's the first condition condition number two jesus who is the bridge between the old and the new must communicate that thought too in his earth work and then number three it must be referenced in the life of the early church any thought that is referenced in the old testament testified by jesus himself and experienced by the early church um, fulfills the condition to be a doctrine so you you can use one scripture to buttress on a point but that scripture isolated in its own cannot form a doctrine are we together now yeah so there are many scriptures although the word rapture is not mentioned there are many scriptures from the old testament jesus himself testified of a possibility that a time will come when he can take people to where he is in john 14 remember i go to prepare a place when i prepare the place i will come and take you so that where i am there you may be also and then paul in his pauline epistles began to open to the church the possibility of a mass exodus that he was using that scripture to comfort 
bereaved people and he said that they should not weep like those who do not have hope for a time will come there will be a trumpet that will be blasted and they who are dead in Christ will arise first is that true and we who are alive will be caught up that experience of being caught up is what was coined that we call rapture so you cannot say rapture is not a doctrine or it's not in the Bible in fact it's one of the seven tenets what we call the tenets of the Christian faith I will teach you in a separate series there are seven tenets like pillars of the Christian faith if you are a Christian there are seven major truths you must believe number one you must be don't write it I'm just giving you a teaser number one you must believe in the mystery of the incarnation God becoming a man the Bible calls it the mystery of godliness you can't just believe in a savior just like that the first thing you must believe is that there is a supreme God in heaven are we together now and then you believe in the incarnation you believe in the virgin birth you must believe in the earth walk and the sinlessness of Jesus you must believe in the fact that he died and died on the cross if you believe Jesus died in a motor accident you are not a Christian there he, he must that cross must be there are we together you must believe that when he died he didn't go to heaven he went to hell because that's where sinners go to really Hades the place of departed spirits and Gehenna the place of the dead there was a transaction that happened there you must believe he rose up after three days not one week you must believe that he appeared to many in the streets of Jerusalem you must believe he ascended to heaven according to Hebrews offered his blood upon the tabernacle of heaven then you must believe in his return if you do not believe these things you are not a Christian it's as simple as that no matter your denomination this is the ID card of Christians these seven things another series will explain them another word I'm still giving an introduction to the concept of the Trinity another word is Trinity you never find the word Trinity mentioned in scripture there is no reference theologically speaking from Genesis to Revelation where in these 66 books you hear the word Trinity are we together now so I want to establish it because when we are talking about the Holy Spirit there are many denominations today sadly who do not believe he's a person who do not even believe in his existence there are many christian sects who have all kinds of debates and all of that so before i begin to talk about this most precious personality i must establish from the word of god is there such a doctrine as the doctrine of the trinity the triune nature of god three persons coexisting in one is it biblical and is it true so what is the proof of the triune nature of God the first evidence I'll give you a few scriptures and I want us to hurry up because you will need this to be the foundation of your confidence as we learn about God and then the Holy Spirit media you will help us we need a lot of speed Genesis chapter 1 we'll look at verse 1 to 3 then we'll go to 26 the first reference of the possibility of the existence of God manifested as more than one person Genesis chapter 1 it says in the beginning God now I want you to know that the Old Testament was written in Hebrew a uh, part of Latin was also added to it but largely Hebrew and then the New Testament was written largely in Greek and Aramaic are we together now so the expressions um, when you read them from the Greek context Greek and um, Hebrew, sorry, is a very rich communication. It can break words. One word can have several meanings based on whatever context. This is what was referenced here. English calls God, God, but in the Hebrew, it can tell you whether it is plural or singular. So the Bible says in the beginning, God. The word God there in the Hebrew is Elohim. And Elohim is always in plural. The singular is Eloha one of the parties so we see here that the bible is referencing based on the hebrew manuals that this personality is not just an individual god created the heavens and the earth then verse 2 and the earth was formed was without form void and darkness was upon the face of the deep 
the hebrew rendition of darkness and voidness is tohu wa bohu it is darkness and confusion the same word that is referenced in isaiah chapter 60 arise shine for your light has come behold darkness and gross darkness the same word is used here i'm just giving you some theological foundation and then the bible says and the spirit of god now take note the first single personality of the trinity revealed from scripture is not the father not the word who we now call the son jesus yeshua but the spirit of god are we together now it says and the spirit of god moved round the face of the water so we see one manifestation of the trinity verse 3 and god said elohim 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 let there be really the the context here is actually eloha but i'm saying god at work elohim because he is speaking are we together it didn't just say god appeared are we together but god spoke the word so we see the word we see god we see the spirit are we together now then in verse 26 it says an elohim the same word is used again said let us let us a classic confirmation it didn't say let me an elohim a discussion in heaven going on let us now maybe i should tell you that the original names of god or the titles god was never called father the concept of god uh being called father was a revelation that jesus brought are we together now yes the word father means abba comes from the greek word it means your source and sustainer but father like a procreator a progenitor of a personality was never used in the old testament for god are we together they understood fatherhood but not referenced to god they knew him as the almighty god they encountered him but that knowledge as father his original name as revealed to the people was el shaddai el shaddai el shaddai the deity that is limited the expression there is the multi-breasted one like a mother breastfeeds her child now he has such abundance of supply it's an attempt to explain his limitless dimension and then jesus according to revelations 19 his name was never known and called jesus except even by prophecy it was emmanuel are we together it was a name that was given by the angel to mary that they would call him in his earth work his original name john 1 1 revelations 19 was and will always be the word and then the spirit of god now the bible uses a very interesting word he never really began to express him as the holy spirit notice that he called him the spirit of god um are you following me when you call him holy spirit you are right but classically speaking you are wrong because god is a spirit and he is holy jesus is a spirit although he ascended with a body he is holy are we together the holy spirit as a person is a spirit and he is holy you as a person you are a spirit and you are holy so if i call you holy spirit is still not is still theologically correct so we just call him holy spirit because of the unique reference to him but it is rather an attempt to describe him the name the standard name that the bible calls him is the spirit of god no man knows what is in the heart of a man save the spirit of that man the spirit of god i will use the word holy spirit for for us but i just i'm giving us a background so we see in genesis 1 26 let us make the trinity the next reference very quickly at the baptism of jesus in matthew chapter 3 from verse 14 to 17 matthew chapter 3 from verse 14 to 17 please give it to us but john forbade him this is the baptism of jesus look up everyone john is baptizing people now and then all of a sudden 
Jesus shows up. Behold the lamb that takes away the sins of the world. Jesus is coming to be baptized. And then John, you know, he said, no, 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 no. I also need this baptism. And then why will you come to me? 15. Jesus said, suffer it to be so that scriptures will be, all righteousness will be fulfilled. And then he permitted him. Verse 16. And Jesus, when he was baptized, so we see Jesus, God in the flesh, the son of God, by reason of their office, the second person of the Trinity. Then the Bible says, when he came out of the water, lo, the heavens were open. And what do you see there? The spirit of God, another personality. Jesus is in the earth. The heavens are open. We see another personality descending in the similitude of a dove. Then the Bible says, descending like a dove and lighting upon him, 17. And a voice. So we see Jesus on earth. The Holy Spirit is coming upon him. And a voice of another personality who is not the Holy Spirit and is not Jesus speaking. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him and all of that. So I'm showing you from scripture that the Trinity, the concept of the Trinity is biblical. Two more proofs. Ready? Matthew 28 from verse 18 to 20. This is Jesus now teaching the disciples himself. Jesus himself is teaching the disciples Matthew 28 from verse 18 to 20 Matthew 28 Matthew 28 from verse 18 to 20 Matthew 28 Matthew 28 from verse 18 to 20 and Jesus came and spake unto them saying everybody listen all power the word there is exousia is given unto me in heaven and in earth 19 Go ye therefore, this is Jesus teaching, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, in the name of, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. Jesus himself acknowledged the fact that they were a triune reality in the, in the realm of the Spirit. The Godhead expressed in three personalities. Ready for one last proof? Acts chapter 7 verse 54 to 59 Acts chapter 7 this was when Stephen was about to be martyred the Bible says something happened when they heard these things that Stephen now the martyr the first recorded martyr when Stephen was teaching them on these things the Bible says they were caught to the heart and they gnashed on him with their teeth 55 we're reading to 59 but he being what so we see the Holy Ghost in Stephen, full of the Holy Ghost, one of the personality of the Trinity. He said he looked up to heaven and what did he see? The glory of God, the similitude of the face of God, another personality. And what did he see again? Jesus standing at what? So full of the Holy Ghost here on earth, God in heaven, and then the Holy Ghost at his right hand. Read on. And he said, Behold, I see the heavens open and the Son of Man standing on the right hand of God. You can even stop there. The point has been established. So you see that from Scripture, Old Testament, the Gospels, and the Epistles, I reveal to you that there is such a concept. I know why I am, for some of you, this looks basic. But many people who represent different sects some not even believers are going to be listening to this message and it's important that we start from a theological foundation so that it does not look like this is a Pentecostal or charismatic phenomenon the concept of the Trinity is established by the Word of God there is such a concept now let me tell you a few things and I am very emotional as I say this the subject of the person and the ministry of the Holy Spirit, in my opinion, is the most misunderstood and most neglected teaching in the body of Christ. The subject of the revelation of the personality of the Holy Spirit. I don't think that there is scarceness with the teaching of Jesus as the Son of God. I don't think there is scarceness of the revelation of the Father 
especially New Testament believers, we talk a lot about the fatherhood of God. But the person and the ministry of the Holy Spirit, most believers have almost no idea about the person of the Holy Spirit. Now, the church, especially the 21st century church, is not in ignorance as to the reality of the power of the Holy Spirit. We watch televisions every day and we see people falling from church to church. You come for koinonia and you see people shouting and flying all around. But the person, this entity, this personality called the Holy Spirit is what I want to introduce to us tonight. Who is the Holy Spirit? Who exactly is the Holy Spirit? We must know who he is. Why is he so important that Jesus had to need him? Jesus walked upon the earth, never was able to do any serious kingdom thing until he came. Who is this personality so important that the saints of old, although they did not really know him, but they could not resist his influence in their lives. When he came upon them, they could not articulate. They never had a relationship with the Holy Spirit. They could not know who he was. They only related to him based on his influence upon them. There were only two people in the Old Testament who communicated such an appreciable dimension of intimacy with him. Number one was Samuel the prophet. Number two was David, the man after God's heart. These two personalities seem to have accessed deeper dimensions of their work with the Holy Spirit. A prophet that the Bible says his word did not fall to the ground. It was the psalmist that said, cast me not away from your presence. He said, take not your spirit from me. Who is the Holy Spirit? Now, let me tell you something. The Holy Spirit is not a bird the Holy Spirit is not a dove you have to believe this the Holy Spirit is not candles with fire on it the Holy Spirit is not anointing oil the Holy Spirit is not water the Holy Spirit is not wind the Holy Spirit is not sound all those things are similitudes of his operation similitudes of his operation but not him the holy spirit is not an influence he's bigger than an influence who is the holy spirit number one the holy spirit is god the holy spirit is god he is not like god he's not a friend of god he's not a mentee of god the holy spirit is god every description that you give the father every description in terms of honor and acknowledgement and power and might it suffices to communicate the same description to the holy spirit now the difference of the trinity is not the power and the might but the system of their functions and their offices it is based on that that we now classify the father as number one the son Jesus as number two are we together and the Holy Spirit as number three the Holy Spirit is not junior God the Holy Spirit is not the inferior part of God he is God in every way in every system deserving of worship deserving of honor deserving of trust so the Holy Spirit is God number two the Holy Spirit represents the unlimited presence of Jesus. Benihin calls him Jesus unlimited. The Holy Spirit represents the unlimited presence of Jesus. When Jesus walked upon the earth, he was bound with a body. Listen, give us quickly please John, John chapter John chapter 14 verse 16 to 18 John chapter 14 verse 16 to 18 the Holy Spirit a manifestation of the limitless presence of Jesus so it is it is fair and scriptural to say the Holy Spirit is Jesus 
unlimited without bounds when jesus walked upon the earth he could not be everywhere at the same time it is the holy spirit that makes it possible for every believer to receive christ he is the representation of the presence of jesus on earth and in the heart and life of every believer and i will pray the father this is jesus speaking and he will give you another comforter you've heard the word the greek rendition is alos parakletos alos and heteros these are words that mean one of the same kind or one of another kind when you say alos it means the same in quality and species like the cat family are we together the bird family when you say heteros it can mean many birds but not of the same maybe a dove and an eagle they are not the same so we have alos and we have heteros here it is alos paracletos another comforter that he may abide with you forever next verse next verse verse 17 even the spirit of truth whom the world listen jesus is saying the world cannot receive him why he says because it seeth him not so the first reason why the carnal man cannot walk with the holy spirit is why because he seeth him not now facebook and the social media has taught us that there is a possibility to relate with a personality you have never seen before facebook came they taught us something at, i think in secondary school or primary i don't know which one pen pal something that you write letter and post to another stranger who replies you but now with facebook you can communicate with a personality you do not even know and from his expression you can even know he is not happy yet you have never met him the person is in brazil you are in nigeria and you are communicating praying together growing together and you can even say how are you my good friend the world does not see him neither knoweth him an encounter not awareness the world cannot have an encounter with him because he is not the way you encounter physical men this is a spiritual encounter the two reasons why people cannot experience the person of the holy spirit don't forget this number one because they cannot see him except it is given to you by the grace of god you cannot see the person of the holy spirit with your optical eyes you can see the expressions of him you can feel the power of his presence you can see the influence the wind is in the similitude of the holy spirit you may not see the wind but you can see the paper it carries you can see the clothes it dries that's how the holy spirit is so you cannot you believe there is wind because you see it drying your clothes picking papers and occasionally dust can form a tornado and this is the effect of the wind but the wind is not a tornado the holy spirit represents the unlimited presence of jesus in the earth number three who is the holy spirit the holy spirit is the wisdom of god the holy spirit is not wise the holy spirit is the wisdom of god look at me of the trinity the holy spirit represents the wisdom of god you have to understand this the wisdom of god that's why jesus had to wait for him to come so that he will walk in wisdom the holy spirit is the wisdom of god number what number four the holy spirit is the revealer of the presence and the power of god not just the conveyor but the revealer only the holy spirit can make the presence of god and the power of god real to men listen without the holy spirit no matter what miracle you see it cannot change you i hope you know in the old testament they saw miracles yet they were not converted in the new testament they saw five thousand people fed by five loaves and two fish correct they saw the water turn into wine they saw jesus walking yet they still doubted him john the baptist himself who commissioned jesus in ministry 
doubted whether or not he was the Messiah. Jesus resurrected. And when he resurrected, the Bible says he went to his disciples. He said, but some doubted. Why? Because they had not received the Holy Spirit. Only the Holy Spirit can reveal the presence and the power of God to men. See, let me tell you something. That's why there are people who can carry anointing. They can sit in a meeting. You can be dispensing the gifts of the Spirit. Accurate prophecy. You can see someone fall under the anointing and roll and get up. And at the end of that meeting, someone can be nodding and say, Bros, are you there now? I see we didn't attend the meeting. Powerful meeting with signs and wonders. But without the presence of the Holy Spirit, there is no conviction. There is no change. There is no transformation. Jesus sent the 70. Are we together now? Jesus sent the 70. Thomas was part of the 12 and the 70. Thomas used the name of Jesus. Casted devils. But when Jesus resurrected, he said, no way. Until he comes and I put my hand in his hand. And then Jesus came, he said, Thomas, do it. He said, blessed is he that has not seen. Blessed is he that has not seen, but believe. The conveyor the revealer of the presence of God who is the Holy Spirit let me give you a shocking definition number five the Holy Spirit is the author of Scripture the Holy Spirit is the author of the Bible the same way Benihin is the author of good morning Holy Spirit the same way Bishop Oyedeko is the author of covenant wealth or a covenant of prosperity. The Holy Spirit, this book belongs to him. It was not authored by Zondervan. It was not authored by um, um, White Taker House. This Bible, scripture, was authored by the Holy Spirit. You are a hypocrite if you try to read his book and ignore him. The author of the Bible is the Holy Ghost. Two scriptures. 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 21 and then 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16. 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 21. For the prophecy, listen, came not in old time by the will of man. Luke did not write the Bible because he was intelligent. Listen. John did not write the Bible just because he leaned on the chest of Jesus. Isaiah did not write the Bible just because he had to write. He said the will of man was too small to have written this Bible. Look up. There is no man that wrote the Bible just by their will. No. It takes more than willingness to write this. There must be a personality and an influence. A compelling force. 90% of the people who were used by the spirit to write the bible were not educated they were illiterate so how was the details of the character of god so captured with minimal error in spite of their personalities some of them never met themselves but see the synergy and the consistency of their communication no prophecy came not in old time by the will of man but holy men of god spake as they were what influenced the same word the Holy Ghost drove Jesus to the wilderness so men wrote they speak and later documented it as moved by the Holy Ghost listen to me carefully I I may want to write one book now maybe translate some of my messages into books and I can tell the media department or we get a professional editor and say take one two three messages I need the transcripts of all of them and I sit down and edit it does it mean that is that person that wrote the book please respect him he is the author of this book men of God hold this book and they never know the author they preach it they write other books with reference to this and never give honor to the author they give honor to their wives thank you for motivating me on the computer while I typed they give honor to their children thank you son for 
not being stubborn while I wrote the book and they ignore the owner listen there is something called plagiarism plagiarism is an offense correct when you take somebody's thoughts without due permission and without making reference how many people have plagiarized the spirit of God we use his words every time and every day and nobody has been arrested and we never give him credit if David Dam catches somebody recording his song and making money from it they will first share it into half and then take him to court and say no way it came from God but through me you are not going to just read from are you getting if somebody carries the koinonia worship team song and just runs with it like that they'll sue the person to court yet 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 we take everything that is of the holy spirit he gave us unrestrained access to use it as though we wrote the book look at how i quote scriptures as if i was there i can quote it then i will be stupid to not acknowledge him the holy spirit is the author of the bible second timothy 3 16 second timothy 3 16 i want you to read one to read all scripture is given by what is the word breath is the word numa the greek is ruach an expression a manifestation of this of the holy spirit all scripture how many all scripture all scripture not some not a major part all scripture is given by the inspiration of god and is profitable for doctrine reproof correction instruction in righteousness that the man of god may be perfect and all of that so the holy spirit is the author of the word write this down christianity is not a religion christianity is not one of the four thousand religions on earth that's quite an information you want to know i don't know what's the current maybe somebody has invented something from january till now now that recession is on somebody must have come up with something but the last time i checked there were at least four thousand religions on earth isn't it amazing four thousand plus with followers all with followers you can go and register it officially your religion state your tenets of faith prove that it works they give you a patent to to smuggle people from whatever religion into yours christianity is not a religion it has never been and will never be religion is man's attempt to manage his confusion about god religion is man's attempt to find god without the agency of the holy spirit religion is man's attempt to create an explanation of the realm of the spirit and the dealings of god without the assistance religion is the product of man's pride religion is a direct product of man's pride his refusal to accept that there is god but accepts that the realm of the spirit is real so people argue oh the sun is there the planets are moving around it and there are millions of galaxies and all of that and all of that and this one if the sun is too if the earth is too close to the sun if it's too far and then out of all of that the scientists who have succeeded in doing that tells you there is no god and the bible gives that person a name it's called a fool he said only a fool will say in his heart but these ones did not even say it in their heart they've written it in letters they have blogs for it only a fool will say in his heart there is no god look at me if all of a sudden you enter this place and you see this fan and this keyboard and this mic and i told you that some metals were just moving around and then a wind blew them and there was some electromagnetic force and it just came together and formed a mic and reduced down to Tosin's height and then another one became a pulpit how intelligent do I sound so to tell me that some cosmic bodies flew from Mars another planet had a big bang boom 
then the water molecules suddenly had uh, what they call that thing frogs that thing that toads carry like fins and then started growing out leg and then became one ugly thing and then eventually grew and then became something else and then became black and ugly monkeys and then from there my great grandfather was coming out I, and then look at how dull those things are but we believe them oh oh oh, oh. Christianity is an experience. Christianity is a revelation. It's not a religion. What we call Christianity, the faith life, the work of a believer, what was committed to us by Jesus is a revelation. It's an experience. It's an experience. It was the Holy Spirit who birthed the church the Holy Spirit birthed the church not only did the Holy Spirit father Jesus the Holy Spirit birthed the church Jesus was not ashamed to call the Holy Spirit his father he said my father in me there is my father who is in heaven but there is my father who is in me Abba my source my sustainer So it was the Holy Spirit who birthed the church. Listen, we talk a lot about Christianity. Many zealous people have died in villages. Many people have been martyred, but we have ignored the Spirit of God. Why we have ignored him is a mystery. He started the church. He started the church. And today we drive him out of our churches. We drive him out of our cathedrals. We call him a nuisance. We say he is too noisy. We have sent him out of our families. We have sent him out of our businesses. We have sent him out of our lives. We have sent him out of our ministries. We have sent him out of our homes. We sent him out of our children. We sent him out of civilization. We sent him out of government. We sent him out of our finances. The Spirit of God. Second Corinthians 13 verse 14. My assignment tonight is to bring him to your consciousness. That he is a person. Write this down. The Holy Spirit has a definite form. He is not an amoeba. He is not like a boneless creature. No. The Holy Spirit has an exact distinct form. The reason why he does not reveal his form ordinarily to people is because he wants Jesus to be glorified not because he does not have a form are we are we together now you have to get this when you are in the realm of the spirit you can see the person of the Holy Spirit now it's very difficult for you to understand this because pastor Femi come if this is Joshua Selman. I, you cannot believe that I am in Pastor Femi's house or I am in his heart. That possibility cannot be understood in a three-dimensional realm. The concept of omnipresence is not a reality that our civilization is used to. There is no, that, that ability to be omnipresent is not there. That's why the internet was allowed by God to show us that omnipresence is a possibility. I can be in my room right now scattered across over 45 nations of the world. There are different people connecting right now and they are hearing at the same time. Some with phones, some with laptops, some seated right now. As soon as this series is over, we will upload it and in minutes, literally minutes, people all over the world are downloading it. Omnipresence is a reality. The internet has shown us that it is possible 
there is a station where Facebook is. Zuckerberg is a person, but he has multiplied himself through a mystery. Are we together? So they say, are you on Facebook? It's the same way saying, have you given your life to Christ? But there is a personality called Zuckerberg. There is Facebook office, but there is Facebook in your house. There is Facebook in your phone. And whoever does not have Facebook is not part of Zuckerberg. Are you seeing that now? So how will you say it is not possible for the Holy Spirit to be living in you and to work with you? You can have Facebook in your phone, but you can meet with the person, Zuckerberg, and be in the real Facebook office. There is a real form. There is an office today you can snap called Facebook. But there is a similitude of it. Zuckerberg is in everybody's phone. Whenever you say Zuckerberg, the phone, Facebook is the representation of the presence of Zuckerberg. So when you gave your life to Christ, yes, you were born again, but Jesus is in your heart. It is true, but in your heart, in the person of the Holy Spirit, the person, Jesus, is in heaven, seated today with a solid body. He will return with it. So when you say, I belong to Jesus, it is true. But the seal is the Holy Spirit. He's the one who validates that your claims are true. More on that next week when I'm, I'm teaching you on the ministry of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. What do I want to get today to teach you? 2 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 14. I want us to dwell in the understanding of the person. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. Of the Holy Spirit. Let me talk about these three things. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. He says, and the love of God. He says, and the communion, koinonia, fellowship, intercourse, sharing together, participation of the Holy Spirit. He said, these three things should be with you. Number one, the love of God. The love of God is an expression of the benevolent nature of God. It's an expression of his generosity. His, his fortitude to express his nature in and to and through men the love of God Paul is saying if you want to walk and do business in this kingdom the love of God must be at work in you the love of God is revealed in the person of Jesus Christ and also revealed in the substitutionary sacrifice of Jesus Jesus did not come to the earth just as a suggestion of himself he came in response to the father's love he came to prove the love of the father that's the first thing paul says we should know the love of god i'm not dwelling so much there the second thing he says we should know is the grace of our lord jesus christ what is the grace of our lord jesus christ it's not just unmerited access we're not doing a whole teaching on grace but grace is not look, look at me grace is not unmerited access alone that is just a dimension of grace grace is a generic terminology that is used to express any and everything that comes from god any and everything that comes from god is called grace are you seeing now it's not just salvation anointing is grace wisdom is grace my definition of grace is given in the bible every good and perfect gift that comes from above is called grace it's not just unmerited access unmerited access is a dimension of the operation of grace if all you know about grace is just unmerited access no the power to perform is grace because it is not your own you are giving it The grace of our lord jesus christ then he says the communion please give us amplified let me dwell here and then we'll pray the communion i'll be teaching you the next time we meet on the ministry of the holy spirit but the starting point of the journey of your walk with god the first thing he wants to achieve in your life when the holy spirit comes to you is fellowship partnership is a product of fellowship 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 
fellowship there are so many people who want partnership but they do not want fellowship partnership means to walk with him that's that's the section four or so of our course content the ministry of the spirit that's where i will teach you signs and wonders miracles raising the dead healing the sick increase multiplication signs and wonders that's the ministry of the spirit that is partnership with him but the starting point of a believer unfortunately most of our prayers are largely prayers directed towards our needs towards warfare which is important but very little of it is a system built for fellowship fellowship and the fellowship of the holy ghost the personality of the holy ghost not just his ministry not just his power the holy spirit is a real person real person real person he walks with you he lives in you he represents the presence of the holy spirit in your life the presence of god in your life but he walks with you when the holy spirit comes into your life come darling when the holy spirit comes into your life listen the first thing he wants to achieve is not to use you for signs and wonders that's what you want so you want a sharp sharp impartation let me just fall down roll around roll around stand up and all of a sudden i look around and i say look better invite me because i have power many people know his power but they do not know his person are we together imagine a woman who has been eating her husband's money and never knows him what is his name i don't know what is his best meal i don't know what are his best colors i don't know where is he now i me too i don't know he just left home and uh, whenever he comes he knows ah, but you are rich it's his money you have his wife you must be an irresponsible wife correct yeah the holy spirit there are so many things we don't know about him and we don't care the average pastor talks about him but does not know him our lives are very it's a demonstration that we are very ignorant of him we do not see the ultimate ministry of the holy spirit in your life listen is not to speak to you is that you and him will be so intertwined that you become an expression of his reality the same way he's an expression of the reality of heaven he is the one who makes thy kingdom come possible in your life so when people see you you are so bound to him you look like him you talk like him you walk like him your life is an effulgence of his presence i introduce to you tonight the person of the holy spirit he does not belong to pentecostals listen carefully he does not belong to people in lagos he does not belong to western elites he does not belong to those who can speak english and can read king james how many people go to the villages and do evangelism and dare talk to them about the holy spirit when you come and people are well dressed in suits like me say now these guys are candidates for the holy spirit but you see one mama in the village who cannot speak english say, don't mind these people you see that many of us are here seated right now nobody ever introduced him to you they told you about jesus you cried and every time you pray jesus can you hear me and he looks in heaven and says i love you and i can hear you but you are not sincere i sent somebody to you you ignored the person i sent and you claim to love me no no we have ignored him and he has watched us like a gentleman in our pride and confusion we have done everything we have done we have been taught that the moment you receive him you must be a Jim christian a fiery brother or a lady that is going to marry a man of god and you see me I, I, god has never spoken to me about ministry i'm a quiet businesswoman holy spirit you can just go and remain in koinonia your team and they really need you there you see that attitude how many worshipers sing about him they write songs about him we twist our tongues on stage about him <laughs> god god this and that we don't know him we don't know him it's one thing listen it's one thing for god to be with you but it's another thing to be with god 
God can be with you as a person but that you be with him that means you have released your will to say yes Lord the Holy Spirit wants to reveal himself the church of the Lord Jesus Christ does not know him I'm calling us way beyond the realm of power this is way beyond the realm of miracles let me tell you something pastors leaders much more than miracles let the miracles be a derivative of his presence if they have they can happen in the absence of his presence because you can have the anointing the same way you can use my atm and withdraw money the atm will not refuse because my identity is on it the disciples did not know the holy spirit yet they went and they were raising wheelchairs casting out devils let me tell you that you cast out demons please listen carefully that you cast out demons and heal the sick is not a sign that you know him no 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 for even the demons believe in god they tremble so many people in the body of christ the moment you see a man of god walking miracles and i'm not against it moving you know somebody rising from the wheelchair you just assume that kai this guy knows the holy spirit no many people know him as an influence they know his power they know what his power can do but they don't know him because when you know him he alters you in a very remarkable way the proof that you know the holy spirit is that you submit your will for his characteristics to begin to find expression in and through you you see that yeah. when a demon you've seen people now you've seen people manifest time and again under the influence of spirit here and in different meetings notice you can for instance you can see this lovely lady right now and assuming there is a spirit attempting to influence her the moment you attempt to cast out that devil she can start crawling on her knees this is not something that she should do as a human being but the spirit is trying to execute his characteristics so when the person of the holy spirit is at work in your life your life becomes an effulgence of his characteristics you don't just say um, we are angry people in our family that's how we are I'm anointed but we are angry if he lands on me I give it to you even God you know beat me I beat you God no go those, those stupid statements that people make they don't know him I have seen many anointed people who do not know him personally I sincerely consider myself not even to know him I know that many people say ah koinonia the whole name the ministry of the Holy Spirit my prayer every time is holy spirit reveal yourself to me while i was preparing for this series i was almost ashamed of myself i said truly 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 what am i now going to say about him that's why many people describe him because knowing him is not something it's like trying to teach you about your wife hey, Jimmy. it's difficult i can only describe her she makes cake because i have a product in my house but is she cake she has lovely sisters and brothers wonderful we can only use descriptions but do you know the best way to let men know him become an expression of him an expression of him when your life vetoes culture all those listen carefully all those embargoes that make you look like a yoruba man all those embargoes that make you look like a kogi man all those irresponsibilities that make you look like a plateau man a kaduna man when they are swallowed up by that relationship they know that somebody else has oriented your life are you getting what i'm saying now very important you can be born again casting out devils but everybody looks at you they can trace you so naturally they say ah this guy's jealousy is from this state they are like that they are, oh no forget that is anointed they are like that but when they can hardly describe your earthly identity 
you have switched to a true relationship with a personality that you are so intertwined with him that people can look at you and guess and say where are you i don't know whether you are from rivers or you are from plateau state or delta and you tell them i'm from zion the zion of god truly speaking the same way when you see a jam bite in a university even if he's 40 years you will know he's a new student he's an adult outside but when he enters that institution he will try to be matured but you look at him you know that no this guy is not used to this are we together the lingua franca the way of talking the way people are doing there is a popular pothole that everybody in that knows if you, you can with your eyes closed you can jump in then he falls into it that's a jam bite he's not drunk he's just new these are realities with the holy spirit when i look at your life and the characteristics of the spirit are not manifesting there i know something is wrong anger bitterness we think these things don't matter the person of the holy spirit was designed to remedy this lapse so on a good day based on my culture based on my village based on where i come from i cannot stand and look at it she should kneel down and lie down self because i mean i'm a man i'm a king he comes into your life and introduces who god is to you he shows you who god is and says in the kingdom that you so love and respect jesus that you so admire this is not how he is and he not tell he doesn't tell you what to do he influences you to become it the power to become not the information alone to become the power to become can anything good come out of nazareth you are talking to a man who has met the holy spirit without him nothing good can come out of nazareth but with him with him with him with him the person of the Holy Spirit is the mystery, the mystery that turned a stammerer like Benny Hinn to become a world-renowned figure. There are many people I have gone for meetings and have seen signs and wonders but never felt his presence. He was almost absent in that meeting. Signs and wonders can be happening but he's not producing conviction. People are just clapping but nobody is living with any sense of conviction because he's not there when you enter benny his meeting whether you are dead or alive you know that the spirit of god is there signs and wonders are just a confirmation but you know let me tell you how you know a man of the secret place it's not miracles presence 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 not just when you are playing keyboard presence there is a presence if this lady sprays perfume very nice quality perfume and i hold her like this after a while is it true that i should begin to smell that perfume when you walk in a restaurant at the back of the restaurant where they cook and the firewood is there and you claim you were there for two hours cooking rice and you leave you should not smell fresh that place should implicate you no matter how neat you are I should see palm oil somewhere in your cloth or sweat you should smell like that rice or smell like smoke or smell like the kitchen you can't come out and you are still looking like this and say I was cooking rice not gas stove no it's a sign you were not there how many people claim they know him and they think because somebody flew under the anointing it's just a sign no sir no sir listen I tell you the secret of koinonia is not just miracles there are ministries that work in 10 times more miracles 10 times the miracle that this ministry has worked in put together if Benny Hinn should show up here they will all happen in one night but brothers and sisters the difference that presence that's what creates conviction so you can listen to a message you already know everything about it yet it will you and change you and you find yourself on your knees that's something that even when your parents say you should do it you didn't do it presence you know him when you can prove that you carry his presence you know him when you can prove the reality 
the reality you know a lot of people see me and they say apostle joshua selman has a call you know revival helping people experience god it's not really a call that's not yes i have a dimension of a call to reveal the person of the holy spirit but it's even if i'm talking about finances or i'm talking about whatever that presence that presence that presence just like some of you are listening to me now there's someone seated outside the wind may not be as favorable as you want yet something is happening to him that's what can make somebody who is a non-christian sit down outside and you are talking about what is not directly salvation but a presence lands on his head you see him shaking and just sitting it's not every shaking that is just anointing that carried people it's the effect of his presence his presence his presence i'd like you to close your eyes and pray one minute and say lord not just your power a revelation of your presence pray pray the presence in my life not just power for miracles you are in fellowship the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god he says listen and the koinonia the fellowship that the holy spirit is not an archangel please the holy spirit is not an archangel the holy spirit is not the firstborn of the angels no he is called the angel of the lord's presence but the word angel there means the messenger of the lord's presence the conveyor not the slave of god no 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 the holy spirit we have ignored him so much spirit breaker break our walls down Spirit break out Heaven come down Spirit break out Break our walls of unbelief and doubt and fear Break our walls down You were brooding over every darkness. You were causing light to shine from darkness. He's brooding over every darkness. He is causing light to shine from darkness. You were brooding over every darkness. You are causing light to shine from darkness. That's what he's doing in your life. He is brooding over every darkness. My God is causing light. You are brewing over every darkness. You are causing light to shine from. Prophesy one more time. Lord, you are brewing over every Causing light, light. Listen. The Holy Spirit is the one who taught me the word. I remember. Let me tell you. Next, the next time we meet, I will share with you a lot of stories about my work with the Holy Spirit. How the Holy Ghost started with me. The Spirit of God is not power. 
many people want power they want somebody to rise from wheelchair because you think that's what will bring members have you not seen signs and wonders produce us no his presence his presence is a product of a real relationship do you know him do you know him do you talk to him do you respect him is your life an effulgence of his characteristics show me how he dis he took that anger out of your life show me how he's taken your tribe and culture out of your life you are pretty over every darkness lights to shine you were brooding every dark. You were causing light to shine. One more time. You were brooding. You were brooding over every dark. I've shared a bit of my experiences with you people when I would be in the room lying down and I would see a mist like fog what you call fog a mist the shape of a man standing there a real mist next the next time we meet I'll share with you all these encounters a real mist and brothers and sisters I will be frozen not just under his power his influence every part of me is shaking like a leaf for hours I don't know what it, it's like things are entering me and leaving me I cannot even explain is it that he's speaking to me is it impartation is it deliverance I don't even know all I know is that like a hand upon me and I tell you I remain like that for hours sometimes I will not even say one word one word it's not all this fake trying to pray and check time and say it's two hours let me steal so that no 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 his presence defines your longevity his presence defines how you pray his presence defines what happens you don't tell him nah -uh. his presence till today that is a practice i will never trade for anything no matter who i become or what i become listen let me tell you something the moment the moment you say oh god give me tea i bind every devil you're not going to experience his presence but calm down and set the atmosphere spirit of the living god you are welcome here i give you my life take my body my soul my spirit breathe on me take my body my soul my spirit breathe on me this is you praying now not give me tea and bread take my body my soul my spirit breathe on me breathe on me take my body my soul my spirit affect my life breathe on me as i look to you for life affect my life breathe on me I look to you for life. You are the Holy Ghost. Let me show you what I do in my secret place. Holy Ghost. You are the Holy Ghost. Hey. The Holy Ghost. Take your place. Hey. Take your place. was primarily designed as a spiritual system to know him to meet with him prayer was designed primarily as the system that conveys his presence to you there is the warfare dimension of prayer there is intercession there is supplication there is the prayer but he said 
when you pray pray in this manner abba father listen who art in heaven not give me tea give me bread i must marry i need a child he said your kingdom your influence your person come let me tell you why many people's prayer lives are dead it's not because they cannot pray in tongues i know many people's prayer life my prayer life is one of the richest points of my christian life my my prayer i pray that one day during a vigil here after we do anything we, we will pray i want to show you what i do in the secret place my prayer life is not a boring time you know why because i don't carry all these things that people i don't enter his presence just disturbing him and talking stupid things let me tell you there is a strategy that the devil uses for your prayer life the moment you want to pray he tries to make you weak you will even think you don't have the strength for five minutes time of prayer and then this is what many of us do you just stand up oh god i've been telling you about this thing oh god my job is coming tomorrow no you don't need his presence you need power for that one when you want his presence be ready to give him time this hurry hurry thing that people do you will not find him that way no presence i let worship begin to set the atmosphere i have made i have made an altar you see that an altar i have found the night time to be my best time of not just intercession and warfare alone but deep intimacy because in the daytime your phone is ringing somebody is disturbing you see don't ever give an excuse for why you don't seek him i'm married i have 10 children i i am i am um, an accountant we finish in the bank late you always have time for what you love hallelujah yeah. no. i'm yet to see what can distract me when i'm having deep fellowship with the holy spirit my phone can ring to hell anything can happen you must you you use desire and respect to keep his presence not just faith desire and respect come and you are praying the holy spirit your your boyfriend hey, holy, um, holy spirit how are you um, um, uh, my boyfriend how am i holy spirit how are you um, no 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 you are not serious and it's not just moving ba, 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 ba. and you are running ba, 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 ba. that's warfare not fellowship when you are ready for fellowship you let him define the modus operandi of the prayer session he is lord over the prayer session there are times i go to pray and as soon as i get there immediately do you know sometimes let me tell you what happens sometimes i can be studying my bible or even just relaxing i know when his presence shows up now his manifested presence the moment i begin to sense his presence around i try to discern is this just wanting me to pray or something immediately i go and lock my door the holy spirit loves privacy he's a very private person forget that you see his power like this the holy spirit there are things he will never do and show you in public no sir thank god for corporate gathering but the specifics of his dealings with you must be in the secret place sleep me no that's why many people's prayer lives are not rich let me tell you when he comes the first thing that happens is his that man to learn it learn it the presence of the holy spirit should affect your spirit soul and body when he comes it's not just by faith you know he's there his influence envelopes you this is how people become strong presence carriers not just power carriers presence Benny Hinn was describing one time, you know, he's my mentor in that area. And Benny Hinn was describing how he was preparing for meetings. Do you know? He said when he's preparing for meetings, it is directly from the secret place. He would just bath. Ask anybody who knows me. I know many times we are coming directly from a trip. 
but koinonia here especially miracle service it is from prayer and fellowship straight you see me stand up and come here not just no no matter how many minutes stand up from watching football and just say guy my you let me just wear my tie quickly who are you playing games with you want to come and cast out devils you want to come and change somebody who they use a spell to keep him a non-christian for 30 years who do you think you are that you want to speak in two hours i remember i was teaching one time on um revelation of heaven and hell he was outside one um, at is it an imam or ustas one gentleman he studied arabic he was seated outside while the teaching was going on i mean the presence of god was pounding on that gentleman and the next thing all of a sudden outside here the overflow the heavens were open for him and he had a vision of jesus way before an altar call he, i don't know where that guy is now but that kind of born again there's no going back encounters are not products of power encounters are products of a person invited into your life and the effect of his presence this encounter thing that you see people talk about me different ministries they write all kinds of the supernatural when they say the supernatural let me tell you what they mean a man of God who comes and somebody falls down falls down a few healings here and they say man it was a powerful meeting let me tell you an encounter is an experience that makes a person and a thing real to you it doesn't have to be visionary but it must be supernatural are we together imagine if all of us here inside and outside imagine all the people here that we become true presence carriers do you know do you know the dimension of the kingdom you will produce in the life of people dimension all these many discussion and counselings you just come and stand near somebody and a presence there is an invisible personality with you I tell you I give you two or three minutes you see that person shaking the person is not shaking just because they are not help, 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 I'm sorry. the person is not shaking just because there is an anointing the person is shaking simply because you think his power that's what people say that this is not power this is presence you go into a business meeting you carry that cloud you go to your home where there is a shrine that they smuggled somewhere you don't need to know whether they planted it in a football field under whatever just carry that presence like the ark of god in the house of obededom and you watch what begins to happen one of our ladies here was telling me i think she went home and she said she just played one koinonia message and when she played she said it was like human beings were running physically out of the house presence 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 balaam cursed them and he turned and saw no 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 the shout of a king his voice his presence is in their midst let me tell you what i will explain to you next week but the key to walking in strange levels of health and freshness physical biological freshness is not just rubbing goat milk cream and all of this let me tell you the presence of god can revitalize revitalize are you a christian revitalize all this issue of somebody 20 years you are looking like 30 sluggish you are uh, this and that mm -mm. let his presence roast away all that chaff out of you in all sincerity and in all truth I truly consider myself to be stronger and better and happier than ever his presence how you know he's with you is joy unspeakable full of glory it's called the joy of the Holy Ghost ah, in spite of all the sadness that surrounds me and this joy in my heart only comes alive every time I hear your there's a joy in my soul in spite of 
all the sadness that surrounds me And this joy in my soul Only comes along every time The world is full of sad people Angry and sad people You know why? My wife offended me my husband offended me. They didn't pay salary. This person did this. The government is wicked. Buari is not a nice man. This one did this. Um, Osimba Joy is not doing well. This one is doing this. Let me tell you. Joy is not a commodity that you can get on earth. Joy is one of the blessings of his presence. Joy. Joy is not just laughing like a fool. The ability to sustain an ability you ignore the storms that your you can see people in see let me tell you in the olden days when they were going to kill missionaries before they would bomb they would blow them they fed them to lions lions and peronero will sit on his throne in a theater and they will bring out one of the saints do you know how the guy saw they took human beings and tied them and then they lit them to be the torchlight that he will use to see human beings roasting to give light and many of them before they died they sang amazing grace they said no 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 when you laugh in the midst of the storm it's not natural the holy ghost is a sign that you are aware they were about to stone stephen all this frowning around thinking you are the first the devil will cheat you you must learn a system of joy i know there's no money in your pocket but don't allow the first sign of depression is that it has a way of taking away joy when men are about to die the first thing is they stop talking ask the doctors they are angry they have entered into a state of acute depression but he said the joy of the lord is my strength strength you see why many people are weak you will never come and meet me like this ah, life joy joy unspeakable you can't fake that one his presence gives me joy all the time all the time it doesn't mean everything just happens the way i want no there are all, there are too many people to annoy you every 24 hours that's what satan wants as you are sharing the grace somebody matches your your leg by mistake and you say about oh, say what well, what ah allow me to tell you sorry i was about to say it and it spoils your mind i say this koinonia it's just because we are serving god otherwise your joy is gone is your joy so small rich in joy he said for with joy shall you draw is one of the reasons why many people don't get miracles haven't believed they don't have joy the joy of the lord that is your strength they don't have it see let me tell you something some of you came to koinonia sad angry depressed as if the whole world is on you when there is nothing else you have keep your joy in spite of all the sadness that surrounds me and this joy that i now have it truly comes alive every time i hear there are times that we go for meetings and the hospitality is not at its best sometimes it can be so annoying because we've traveled so far and you see the people wasting time maybe keeping us so long in the airport to pick us those things can bring anger and all of a sudden i remember the joy of the lord the joy of the lord if you remember your bank account to be happy you will soon die if you remember the presence of your child if you remember that oh i have my certificate under under one newspaper that i wrapped if that is why you are happy this world does not have room for that to give you joy do you know many people try other things trying to get joy they try education they try marriage they try money this money thing you see they try everything they try bullying others they try politics no the true source of joy joy unspeakable is the holy spirit look at what happened to job a man boils lost his entire estate dogs were licking him he was seated in the ashes the wife had looked at him and he said though he slain me yet will i trust him my joy uh -uh. 
satan has not cheated you if he does not succeed in making you ignore the ministry of the holy spirit i don't care what else leaves you if the holy spirit is in your life convert that fellowship 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 listen tonight is a night of restoration because some of us you were not like this listen carefully that's not how you started with god there are people here scattered across the day you became a pastor the day you became a man of god you became a reverend the day you married a pastor the day they gave you a position of a president that's the day fellowship died no need for fellowship again i'm busy busy for what busy for what i, I now have a job you know before i i wasn't working but now my job requires that i'm in brazil today portaco tomorrow i barely have time hey the spirit cultivate fellowship with him your life would have been 10 times better than it is if you did not ignore him now you may say he's in me but you ignored his person I can have a visitor in my house and leave him in the parlor in anger to prove to him that you are wasting my time and enter another parlor and be doing a business discussion is he in my house yes but are we in fellowship no don't say God is in my heart don't say the Holy Spirit is in my heart are you engaging him I know you prayed oh I prayed about it what did he say me I shall pray if you pray and did not have an instruction or a direction from the word you have not prayed the confusion in the life of many people today listen there are many there are many things in people's life there are people today who have traveled to geographic locations where they have no business being there somebody just got up and felt like God was sending him to um, Australia the Holy Spirit was not consulted you just felt it was just a rumbling in my stomach and you got up and got visa and went and you are almost dying in Australia there are people who they just sat down and they ignored him and started churches they had prayer meetings they had evangelical meetings and just assumed Kai I think we are large enough to start a church and they started it think how many things have gone wrong in our lives sincerely because we have ignored him think how many people right now are regretting their marriages because they ignored him my mother said i should just marry anything and i just married. ignored him he told you have three children you had seven you are seeing what is causing you now he said we ignore him all around think of how he has cautioned people many times and we refused our stubbornness and stiff neckedness tonight is a night of genuine restoration there are many people you used to walk with him his presence the holy spirit would wake you wake you at specific times there are people who have that encounter where he would wake them but now you threw him out the holy spirit is like um in fact when you study certain hebrew studies he's like a woman that's where you get the word ruach hakodesh you see that it's a feminine characteristic if he's not invited he does not come if you keep him in the parlor he remains there forever you tell him holy spirit enter my house but parlor bedroom and the first toilet that's that's where you should don't ever enter my kitchen you will keep eating nonsense and have a beautiful parlor because the area you allow his influence is the area you see the glory of god don't say he's in me did you invite him to your finances his presence not his principles we try to learn bible we go to theology schools we go to bible schools and we never consult the author i told you he's the author of scripture He walked with people in the Old Testament. Are you not seeing how he turned a little boy called Samuel to a wonder? He called somebody looking like me, Samson, and made him a judge over Israel. Look at the people he transformed. He turned Deborah. 
Mary said, how shall these things be? He said, don't worry. The father of this child will be the Holy Ghost. The power of the highest. The Holy Spirit. The manifestation of the possibilities of God. Listen, let me tell you. Everything today that is happening that is good. I learned something from Bishop Oyedepo. He said, everything that is good, credit it to God. Everything that is bad, credit it to my not hearing him. I adopt that principle. If there is anything that is good in Koinonia, the wisdom from the system of the messages, if there is anything that is bad in Koinonia, I take responsibility. It is a revelation of the area where I have not yielded to him. So is your life. So is your life. You gave him access to your academics. Look what his presence is doing. You literally sit down in an exam. For 20 minutes, you don't have an idea. All of a sudden, something comes in your life and you begin to write. Even things you know that you did not read. You gave him permission there. But you rejected him in your finances. And you say, look, you know, this economics, we have to do it with intelligence. And oh, how gentle he is. He will truly step back. Truly step back. The psalmist said, cast me not away from your presence. He said, take not your Holy Spirit from me. It's not enough to have him. Have you allowed his person to influence your life? That's what we're talking about. Look at many of our parents. He's not an influencer of their decisions. They have used experience and look at the things that are happening in their lives because they have ignored him. You are too young to master life. Your age is too small to navigate the vicissitudes of life. The oldest person on earth is not up to 150 years. Trust the ancient spirit. He's the Holy Ghost, spirit of the living God. He's the Holy Ghost, scepter of the King of Kings. He's the Holy Ghost, seal of the age to come. He's changing everything. I woke up this morning and I got a very sad text from a man of God. I remember talking to the man he said he wanted to start ministry somewhere and i told him I, I said i think you need to relax i look at you and i do not see based on the description of the kind of ministry i don't think i've seen intimacy in the holy spirit and he ignored me he just forgot everything and he went to go and start the ministry and he sent me a text this morning he said i'm frustrated i don't know what to do he said for the first time in his life early this morning he was contemplating suicide i can tell you not with the holy ghost impossible suicide where from the voice that can show you a way where there is no way the holy spirit when the nation of israel were trapped he said i will send my angel before you that was the, the angel of the lord's presence the spirit not just an angel like michael no mary how shall these things be See not that I know not a man. He said the power of the highest. Please hear me. The secret to you doing what has never been done in your family is not anger. It's him. All of them embraced a spirit. You, you are not embracing anything. You just say I'm born again. I will be successful. It's pride. You are a joker nobody succeeds without the assistance of a spirit i will teach you partnership next week the ministry of the holy spirit tell you his ministry to unbelievers his ministry to believers and his present day ministry to the church but tonight i want you to know that the holy spirit does not just want to be in you he wants to walk with you and the lord walking with them and the lord walking with koinonia and the spirit the author of the bible opening it to joshua selman not that you go on youtube and download a message and say ah this greek word you write it coin them together and go and preach no the same way where you meet an author he autographs on the copy he gives you and you know that you met with the author
To you I will run, my beloved, you've captured my heart. Listen. Come. Can you surrender your life to the Holy Spirit? I'm not saying be born again. That's not what I'm saying. Donate your life. Holy Spirit. I donate myself. I'm tired of what I can be without you and my lifetime is too short to keep guessing and later find out I've wasted my life so I hand it over to you are we together to you I will run my beloved that songs of Solomon like the prodigal son who the father saw him and he ran embraced him hugged him put back the robe of royalty the signet ring and said my son was lost but now i'm found many of you have left him you left his influence and you went to do your own thing i'm not just talking of it doesn't have to be bad but if it's not him you will still suffer how many hired servants do my father have they live in plenty and here I am a son of the kingdom feeding on pigs and my benevolent father is there but I must run to him before he comes I will arise and I will go to my father and I will say father I have sinned against you and against heaven I am not worthy to be called your son but take me as one of your servants he said and when the father saw him afar off he ran one thing I know with the Holy Spirit, all he needs is for you to take one step and say, Holy Spirit, I ignored you. I have ignored you in my life. The moment a guy came into my life, he just took away my brain, took away my sense, took away you. Would you dance with me? Lover of my soul To the song of all the songs Sing it one more time Would you dance with me Let me tell you how I prepare for miracle service. I lie down with my paper and my Bible. I don't just get up and say the sick are coming. Spirit of the living God, I am limited. Thousands of people are coming. Probably thousands and millions of others connecting around the world. I am too small to heal them. I am too small. And I mean his presence just mantling me. And I'm saying, Lord, right about now there are people. The venue is packed full. The troubles that people have is too much. I can't be the one to solve it. And then he tells me, don't worry. Partnership. Let me show you one scripture before we round up. Give me this scripture, please, quickly. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 9. 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians 3, verse 9. I hope I'm right. It just came to my spirit. Please quickly, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 9. I never walk alone. I know he's with me. For we are what? Laborers together with God. We are laborers, partners. Shalakota salabatea. Partners. 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 There is a role I have to play. There is a role he has to play. I'm a partner with him. I never walk alone. I would have died if I'm the one leading Koinonia alone. No, I'm too small. I don't have that wisdom and experience. My life is too small to be the way it is by my own strength. Yongicho wrote a book, Holy Spirit, my senior, not my mate, 
holy spirit my senior partner in his church he has a big chair like you find in the anglican that chair is for the holy ghost he said i cannot be sitting down in front and the holy spirit is nowhere you may not put a physical chair but open up your heart and say this is for you forever forever and then he will show you things i told you he is the wisdom of god he comes into your life and produces signs and wonders i look at my life today and i'm humbled i don't even know what to tell him holy spirit what you are seeing if there is anything good that you see in my life behind the scene there is somebody living through me if i stretch my hands is his hands what you are hearing now you are looking at a physical person but if god were to open your eyes i'm like a puppet he's speaking through me that's why the power that comes from him only flows through me to you the devils know what they are seeing the sicknesses know what they are seeing the lady who had an issue here when i was hearing those testimonies you know they were all thanking me thank daddy what i was doing in my heart is thank the real daddy the father in me the lord of koinonia the true apostle of this ministry not joshua selman i'll be stupid to claim that i have the power to lead people you made a way you made a way don't know how but you did it don't know how but you did it that's my testimony for he's moved the mountain you cause wars to fall and with your power you perform miracles there is nothing that's impossible tonight i'm standing here and it's only tonight that humanly speaking you don't know how it will be done that is not your business that trying to find out how it will be done is the secret to killing yourself leave that to your partner your senior partner he's the wisdom of god he's the author of scriptures he knows where he meets your answer is listen stop weeping stop crying stop looking like life is all over your head no say to the righteous there is a reason why you say to them he gave them the holy spirit he said tarry in jerusalem don't let pride make you go out and start preaching tarry until he comes Hallelujah. look what he has done with this ministry today you see let me tell you something every time I hear the reports about what God is doing we travel around all the place all the time tomorrow we're in Lagos and I see the mighty things that he does and I see people coming sometimes to enter the car people are all around trying to touch any part of my body crying man of God and I keep looking hi do I really truly in all honesty do I really have the power to solve their problems no. pride is what has killed many of us we drove his presence through pride yes I'm the one ah that prophetic word came from me that prayer came from me that uh, fasting came from me that this my church I built it with my wisdom I studied XYZ that business I, I, I know these things let me tell you ask all those who know me i look like a bold person but my personal life i can be so shy especially when you start thanking me or i, I don't know where to put my face you know this type uh, we want to appreciate 
a very great man of God. Ah, you have killed me. I don't even know where I'm going to hide my face. Because I know you are lying. You think you are telling the truth. But it's a lie. I know you. Prayer point number one. Lord, any part of my life that is yet to subscribe to your influence, tonight I lay it down. I lay it down. Oh, 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 lay it down. Oh, 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 lay it down. Pray. surrender everything don't say I'm not a pastor this is not a pastor affair don't say I'm too old I'm too young oh, I, I surrender all to you everything I give to you withholding nothing withholding nothing I'm withholding nothing withholding nothing pray koinonia I surrender everything to you shabala katalabosia Everything I give to you, Lord, I'm withholding nothing, withholding nothing, Lord, I'm withholding nothing, Shalakata Paratokasai, withholding nothing, not my life, not my ego, withholding nothing. Withholding nothing, Lord, I surrender all to you and everything I give to you. I'm withholding nothing, withholding nothing. Take my heart and mold it. Take my mind, it's my prayer alone. Transform it. Pray, Koinonia. Take my will and yeah, conform it to yours. Let it be like yours. Oh Lord, pray, surrender everything. Take my heart, and hold it. Take my mind, transform it. I give you my will, I give you my will, conform me. Yes, Lord. Everything I hand it over to you. Do a handover ceremony tonight. I hand it over. I stop this pride of mine and I hand over my life and everything not just to your power lord of my relationship lord of my life lord of my finances the chief influencer of my destiny hallelujah prayer point number two lord manifest yourself in my life and to me man let there be a revelation of you a revelation an encounter 
with the Holy Ghost lift your voice and cry for some of you what you need to say is Lord restore it I want to know you I want to hear your voice I want to call you Lord I want to touch you I want to hear your voice I want to know you Lord I want to know you. I want to know you. I want to hear your voice. I want to love you more. I want to touch you. I want to see your face. I want to know you Lord, whatever I have lost because your presence was no longer in my life, let it come back. Like the hair of Samson, you know what you used to carry. You know what was in your life. Don't act like it's still there. Cry for mercy. Let it come, oh God. There was a grace upon my voice that every time I sang, I revealed to people reality of his presence is no more there there was wisdom untold upon my life is no more there spirit of god bring it back How many battles are you fighting in your life by yourself and it's killing you killing you because you were not designed to fight alone david would have died if he dared try to fight goliath alone hallelujah hallelujah the last prayer point tonight before i make the altar call i want you to cry a cry of revival you know what revival is many people it's not a language that the church even knows again they don't know what revival is i tell you they think they know revival when fire comes back to your life when fire comes back to your home when god returns back like they were dancing when the ark was returning back to israel revival i like you to lift your voice and cry set my life on fire set my life aflame again pray my prayer life aflame reviver my word life reviver find the flame so God find the flame so God Hallelujah, thank the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thank the glory. Revive us again. Hallelujah, thank the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord, revive me again. Hallelujah, thank the Lord. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thank the Lord. Please revive.
revive us again. Please revive us again. Please restore us again. Please renew us again. Please retire us again. Hallelujah. I want to pray a prayer now. Holy Spirit, I stand on behalf of your people and on behalf of this ministry. We ask that in any way, as a person and as a ministry, we have ignored any part of your presence and your ministry. We ask for your mercy. And Lord, I pray afresh. I'm asking you tonight by the privilege of the grace to lead this ministry and on behalf of your people and the thousands and the millions of people in a fresh way, we invite you again to our lives. We invite you again to Koinonia. You are the wisdom and the power of God. You are God alone. You are the source of every grace and unction. You are the influence behind our teachings. And we will outspokenly let the world know that we are nothing. This is not about Joshua Selman. This is not about the wisdom of a man. We acknowledge you. And we declare that to you be all the glory. To you be all the praise. Let no flesh ever boast in your presence. In the name of Jesus and I pray for you as this series is on encounters with the Holy Ghost fresh encounters listen hear me some of you from this night you will start having series of dreams I mean dreams that will continue the next day another episode of the Holy Spirit revealing himself listen you will start feeling physical presence working with you. You will know that a personality is working with you. The angels of the Lord are in this place. It's time for miracles. It's time for that sickness to leave your body. All those outside, please lift your hands. Just those outside. Hallelujah. There are so many angels outside. Listen, there will be such a move of power and of the spirit outside. Hallelujah. At the count of three, you will shout Jesus. That fire, devils will begin to cry and jump out. Just those outside. Are you ready now? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your power to heal, to deliver, to set free. Thank you for the confirmation of your word. Right now, in the name of Jesus, those outside. One, two, three. Shake the bokotos. Reketetetete. So both so praise. Just those outside, the power of God is falling. I command devils, come out, come out, come out. I command powers, demon spirits. I command them now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Outside, the angels of God are moving everywhere. Outside, the power of God is shaking every demonic hole. Acts of witchcraft, yokes, curses. Those outside, lift your hands again. Lift your hands. 
I just want you to focus on the screen. Those of you outside, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I will count three and you will shout that name Jesus again. No power will hide right now. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Go, go. Hey. Come out. Come out of them. Devils, yokes, bondages, by the fire, shake it, take 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 it, Please help the ushers if they need help. Help the ushers if they need help. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. And miracles everywhere. The power of God will move mightily inside this place right now and shake foundations. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name, Jesus. As you shout that name, Jesus. No instruments. At the count of three, no instruments. Just shout that name, Jesus. And the power of God will begin to deliver people inside here. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Sheketekete, rekotopos, embrebekete, lekotosoparia. The fire of God is coming down right now. Mightily. Shekete, mekotosota. Bring them out. Please help the ushers if they need more help. Ma prateko sopai empreto stipali ala baba 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 Sese kete baba 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 Se proto sopre kete bala raba Hallelujah This roll lift your hands The angel of the Lord is standing in this room. I pray right now, every activity of witchcraft, according to what the Lord is showing me, those in this room, right now, in the name of Jesus, I want you to shout, Jesus, right now. One, two, go. Let it be shaken, oh God. Now, 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 Shinando <laughs> 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 
Lift your hands. No devil will escape tonight. Outside. At the top of your voice. After the count of three. Many of you will feel fire. As if it's just poured on you. My God let no spirit. Let no spirit remain. Right now. One. Two. Three. All those that have come out Those in front here As a point of contact To those who are there by the blood, I bring a separation. I bring a separation by the blood now. Now, 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 now. I bring a separation by the blood. The mystery of 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 the blood. mystery of the blood. Bring the lady. Zeko pakata barianda susakata ara sheru zakarota hate apekrete pokoto pakata la pekete po baria sakarota pakata ya ya la bakosa pakata pekete pedelebo ya ye 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 ikatola pekete mo hata lina doso pariata lima doso pariata periato shabala rabodo bringa here Rosagata, <laughs> Pompale, Pompale, Soriato, Agata, 
Hallelujah. The God that we serve is not a dead God. The God that we serve is alive. He can change your life. The God that I serve is a living God. Bring the living God. Bring the living God. But the light shines in the dark. Let her go now. You know my voice. She out. Now leave her. Out. Never return again. Now all the devils here. At the count of three, your exit comes. You hear my so voice. I speak to you from the realm of the spirit. So One, two, so go, 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 Shaka, <laughs> Let her go now. Leave this little girl. Out, devil of darkness. Out. Come out of her now. Come out of her. Come out. 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 Marital delay. Give me a hands. Oh, With a loud shout, out you go. Now. Lay your hands on this girl. Let her go now. You are a wicked spirit. Out. I see you in the spirit. Go. Go. Out of her. Now. Go now. Let her go now. You are a wicked spirit. Take over. Out. Posha. Come out now. Posha. In the name of Jesus Christ. The serpent and spirit. Your time is over. Go. 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 Shilere 
Listen, some of you are not out here, but there are things that are already parting ways with you. Are you getting my point? I want to rebuke delay. Many of you do not know the danger of delay. If you are not experiencing any delay, no problem. But I'm just flowing as the Spirit of God. Where is your sister? Bring her. Sister, where are you? Please come and stand here. Your breakthrough has come. Marital delay, it will die now at once. Hold my hands. Look at me. Just look at me. All right, then. You will leave her never ever to return to her again by the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now, I challenge you. Something will leave you right now. I'm seeing you tied in the spirit. Marital delay. Go! Never to return. Lay your hands on your stomach. They will never say you have a fibroid. I cause that spirit. It's a family thing. Hold her. This is a family thing. May they be free, O oh God. Bring salvation to this family right now. Now! In the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I tell you, the devil hates this prayer. Because if he can get you to experience delay, you will give up on your faith. There are many of you, there are levels you would have entered right now. Bring this lady. Yes, come with her. Just clear the way for them. Let me just touch her head. Well done, ushers. Let her be free. Let her go. Together with the delay. Zigo Panada Garanda Shia Kataga do Siza Lagataga Branda Sina Barando Jigli. Listen, lift your hands, everybody. Outside, lift your hands. I'm about to challenge the spirit of delay. Sakataya Mandeka, Sete Lamantaria. You can move forward because something is tying you down right now. In the name that is above every other name, every delay in this place, at the count of three, I command the devils, be gone right now. One, two, three, go, 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 go. I cause delay. I cause delay. I cause delay. Every kind of pain. Every kind of delay. Where is the woman? I, where is the woman I spoke about? One my mother was here. How are you, madam? You, you came alone? Where are they? Come, come. Who are those that came with mommy? Bring this woman here. Sorry, just take it easy so they don't. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. Where's the daughter? to see back at
I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. God is going to visit you. This is witchcraft. Eh? Madam, this is witchcraft. I'm not going to go into lo any long story, but I need to pray for you. You believe that? This is your daughter? Yes, sir. How are you, my dear? I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands. I'm seeing you tied. Kai, this is, this is acute witchcraft. Where are you from? From Edo. Edo State? Yes, sir. Hold my hands. And I always find my spirit in the village. Ah, uh -uh, now, hold on. Why are you? I want to, it's just that I didn't want to talk to you. See, let me tell you something. Huh? The Lord is ministering to me and I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine. Are you listening to me? I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine in your village. When you sleep in the night, they call your spirit. Is that true? Yes, sir. Just if I'm lying, just yes, say I'm sir. lying. Yes, sir. When you sleep, where do you see yourself? I when? find myself in the village. You find yourself in the village. Yes. This is what I'm seeing. They are invoking her spirit. This is what that that witch doctor tried to do to the spirit of Saul. You see that in the Bible. These people are necromancers. You will be free tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Can I pray for you? He is risen from the dead. He is Lord. Light is shining. Madam, look at me. Can you shout? If I ask you to shout, can you shout? I want you to shout Jesus at the top of your voice. Can you do that? Go ahead. Jesus. Let her go now. Let her go now. Out. An end comes. I command breakthrough. Let this family change. Don't cry. Can I pray for you? Father, let this lady experience breakthrough. This is part of it. Eh? You are the one that brought her. Celebrate this lady, please. You see why it's a blessing, madam? You feel pain, at, used to feel pain at your back. Eh? You came here sick. Look at, you came here sick now. Come and walk. Let me see where the sickness is now. Don't worry, come up. Just come up. Check yourself. Check, do what you couldn't do. Check whether the pain is there. Do what you couldn't do. Just do, check. I was already healed, yes. Yeah. You were what? I was already healed. You were already healed. I'll be calling me to come for this program. I couldn't come. Even when I was in the shop, my daughter said, Mommy, come. I kept a seat for you. When you enter, the Holy Spirit said, That is the man that will deliver you. I gave my life to Christ 20 years ago. But there's battle. I always complain. Why am I seeing my spirit in the village? And anything will touch me with my husband, there's nothing. I went to, even when you are preaching, you say some people will go to some church to go and receive miracle. I went to, the last one I went to, I weep. I gave money, I cooked to this woman. He says it's a prophet. You cook for the prophetess? Who cook? And after I left the place, after I left the place, he just damaged my image. He was just saying different things about me. And I'm not like that. And God did it for me today. I'm here. Give Jesus praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. You are the one that brought her. Are you her daughter? She's your neighbor. What do you want God to do for you? I just want to get admission. That's all. Admission? Yes. Where? Into university. Have you written jam? No, no. You are writing next week. Yes. Hold my hands. My God. In the name that is above all names. We give you admission in this place now. The God who is bigger than any registrar bigger than any senate you will come back and stand right here and testify you have it in the name of jesus christ now no power will stop you 
I use this as a point of contact to everyone who is going to be writing jam, whether for you or for your loved ones. I tell you the truth and I lie not. See, listen. Prophecy. Kaya yaya. Reketera. Mambre. Tetekete. Balakata. Rotosepa. Every power that says you will not be admitted in the name that is above all names. Receive your admission. Receive your admission. Receive your admission. Receive your admission. I provoke it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive your admission. Well, listen. Whether you know what you are writing or not, May my God hold your hands. That oh, hand, the Lord, Nene, Nene, the who says it, if I be a servant of God, may my God hold your hand. Listen, many of you do not know the power of prophecy. Prophecy is not just about speaking. It creates the scene for your breakthrough to happen. Parada shi amakrodi siza ma paradi ata zego shila. Give me her hands. She was coming to fight me. No, shila. All right, you must leave. No, don't put it in. Hold on. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus, the Christ. Out! You are a wicked spirit. By the power of the blood, go now. Don't waste our time here. Now. Thank you, Jesus. Be thou and throne on high and throne on high and throne. Help me worship us. Thou and We are going to visit the issue of marriage right now. Please, I want you to listen. I'm just flowing as the Holy Ghost is giving me grace. Sister, look at me. Just look at my eyes. You must release her right now. It's time for you to go. Out you go. Now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I set you free. Let it leave you now. Let it leave you now. Please, 
whether it's for yourself or for your loved ones i want you to stand and agree right now i'm about to command that spirit that causes late marriage please take it very serious this is a miracle service don't say it doesn't concern you and all i want you to do is just to shout amen all the spirits that come to molest you and molest your loved ones and cause them not to get married in the name of the lord jesus christ that name that is above every other name in the name that is above all names i pray right now by the power of the holy ghost please get said something mighty will happen in this place now every spirit that says there will not be marriage by the sword of elohim right now as you shout jesus they will depart from you now one two go every marital delay go 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 let marriage spirit us back out in the name of jesus i prophesy to you may your life partner come into your life i prophesy I call for your life partner supernatural marriage hallelujah hallelujah a lady has been healed of chest condition outside check yourself and run out here check it looks like ulcer you just feel something leave you please check and run quickly quickly Come and let God seal your miracle. The Lord just ministered to me. Please check, check. Hallelujah. I'm about to pray for the sick right now. Every infirmity bows to the name of Jesus. God has healed a lady. A lady. Is that the lady? another one come come you've been healed when god speaks to one he speaks to many look at just one prophetic word give them the mic is he working what happened to you just tell us quickly okay, i just felt a pain leave my chest. you felt something leave you yeah. do what you couldn't do before I felt pain in my chest. completely hold my hands never returns in the name of jesus christ let her go forever come what happened to you now I, I've been having this burning pain here. You've been having burning I pain. How not, long? For I've how long? I've been on drugs for over two weeks now. You've been on drugs? Yes. Uh -huh. Drugs even, is even in my bag right now. The drugs is you go and yes. bring it. Talk to her. What happened? Please tell us. A sharp pain left me. A sharp pain right now just disappeared. Come on. Are you celebrating Jesus? Look at the drugs. These are the drugs you take. In the name that is above all names hold the drugs just hold it hold it look at me lord in the name of jesus christ you are perfecting her she will not need these drugs again in the name of jesus christ check yourself god is healing more people with this kind of pain if it's happening to you come out right now come out god is healing people all stars all stars are going right now Okay, she's been healed. God bless you. It's perfected in Jesus' name. Talk to me. I've been having this pain of chest. Please make sure you don't tell lies. For the past two years now. For the I've past two years now. I've been two years. This chest pain. Chest pain. Yes, sir. Okay. Anytime I try to breathe, it will 
hold it will when you try me, to breathe it will hold you to hook me uh -huh. sometimes i'll be crying praying my mom said that it is over but i've been going to hospital to collect drugs but i told my mom i couldn't i can't take any drugs again but i believe that god will heal me one day one time what happened right now when you said that we should check and when you prayed i felt that i felt that something is out of me and now i'm healed breathe do breathe in deep any pain no, any sir. pain no sir. just keep breathing the power of god is coming on you lord let that be the end of it in the name of jesus christ thank you jesus perfection in the name of jesus christ come all right i've been having this chest pain for over two years and six months two years six months, six months. Yes. pain Breathe in, it just pays okay, you. breathe in now. Breathe in right now. What happened to you right now? It's free. Complete pain. Hold my hands. Lord, it never returns to him again in the name of Jesus Christ. I've been having this um, peptic ulcer since 2006. Since 2006? Yes, and recently. Peptic ulcer. Yes. You are sure? Confirmed? Yes. Okay. And last week, the thing started coming back again, and the pain was so severe. At times, it doesn't allow me to sleep at night. But as we were outside and we shouted Jesus, I felt... You felt something? Yes. That so wicked said, thing that has sat there, it must pack his load and leave this night. I felt... Hold my hand. I use this as a point of contact to every area of your body. That whatever has not been planted by my God lives your life forever. If you have problem in your eyes, God is going to heal all kinds of eye problems right now. Lay your hands there, please. I want to pray. Lay your hands. Please believe. Thank you, Jesus. When I pray for you, check yourself. And if you see a miracle, run out here. Even if you see that it has started, please don't tell lies. We are not playing gimmicks here. Some of you think it's an eye problem. But it's a demonic thing. I'm about to command it to leave you. Thank you, Jesus. Even itching in the eyes will leave. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I command. Eyes be healed. Be healed. Now, be healed. Be healed. Every blind eye open. Every blind eye open. Partial blindness be gone. In the name of Jesus. Long sightedness. Short sightedness. Glaucoma. Every eye condition. Be healed now. Please be checking yourselves. Check yourselves. God is doing miracles now. Check yourselves. If you have any growth in your body, please check yourself. As you see God touching you, come out. You, I tell you, God is healing people. If there is any growth in any part of your body, what's wrong with him? Eye problem. Bring him. God is healing people. Look at, look at a miracle. Look at a big miracle. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at what is happening to these people. Look at, eyes are opening. Come on, give Jesus praise. Eyes are opening. Receive your miracle. Receive your miracle. Every kind of eye condition. Hallelujah. We'll take the testimony. Check yourself. Don't let the devil stop you. What's, his, what's the problem with him? Look at this. He can't. Eh? Praise the Lord. No, 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 no. There's no time for that. What is wrong with him? There's... I can see. Completely. Yes. Who brought him here? His mom. We came together with him. Mama? Okay, I'm going to pray for him. As I pray for him, keep testing him. When he can see you, just try him out. The Lord will heal him. Lay your hands on your... No, no, let, let him lay his hands on you. Lay your hands by yourself on your eyes. I command new eyes by the power of the Christ. How long has this been? Does she speak English? One year, two months. One year, two months. Yeah. What happened to him? Uh, it was glaucoma. It's glaucoma. So we went to the hospital and the doctor told me that he could not cure me, that he go meet any man of God to heal me. That he cannot help you. Yeah, so I'm from Zankwa in Zankwa Kata local government. So I had you, this You came program. all the way from Zankwa? Yes, sir. Oh, my God. Jesus. 
heal these eyes. Glaucoma, I command you to be gone. Bow to the name of Jesus. Bow to the name of Jesus. I command these eyes to open right now. Open right now. Please check him. Test him. See, test him. Test him. Just test him if you've seen anything. Can you say, don't be afraid. This is a factory. Just test him. Sister, stand up. What is it? Eh? You saw light. What are you seeing? Oh my God. Look at how this guy's eyes is so damaged. Huh? What, can you see anything? I can't see. Look the at The only thing I saw was the light. I saw and it went you saw off. light? Yeah, when you just finished praying. Father, so I just opened my eye, then it went off again. Okay, just keep looking at me. Please don't give up, all right? Get him a seat. Just keep looking at me. What happened to you? I saw a sharp light in my eye. You saw a sharp light. You see the same light again? Yes, a sharp light. You've been in using my, glasses? I've been using glasses over two and a Who half Who knows years her? Now. Who knows her? Ah, okay, you all know. Who is your roommate? Roommate, where are you? Come now. Roommate, when we say roommate, where are you? You come out. You know her? So that you don't come out. You see, you know why we are doing this? Because of the stupidity around the body of Christ. Some people now can think that this is stage managed. Are you getting what I'm saying? That's why we are calling the roommate. Do you know me? Eh? No, what I mean is, do I have a personal relationship with you? What happened now? Tell us the truth. I saw a sharp light in my eyes. A sharp I, light. I, I fell down. And then you fell under yes. the anointing. For, for two and a half years, I can't concentrate for long. I can't read for more than one hour. Tears will just start falling off my eyes. Each until you use glasses. Yes, until Give I us use something glasses. to read. Something tiny. Bible. Where are those small, small Bibles? Read Isaiah 60 verse 1 and 2. I'm holding your glasses. Arise and shine, for the light has come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Come on, give Jesus praise. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. This boy, okay. Father, How are you? Father. Okay, wait, hold on. Let's hear the boy. Who brought him? I come alone. Alone? Yes, okay. Sir. He's old enough to respond now for himself. Is that true? Okay, what happened to you? As Please make sure we verify this. As I was praying from outside, okay. Something entered me. So as as I fell down and I come here. Now I, I, I can't feel anything again. You then can't later, somebody hold me. Before I know, something started began working on my stomach. Something started working in your stomach. Yes, How sir. do you feel now? Was he blind? What was wrong? I Please feel check. better. You feel better. Yes, you were sir. sick. What was wrong with you? I was having stomach ache. Stomach ache. Yes, sir. Lay your hands. It must be perfected right now. Lay, hold me with one hand. You will see something moving, and that will be the end of it. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Who brought this small boy? I brought myself. You brought eh? I brought myself. You brought yourself. Ha! Could you speak English when you were his age? What's your name? My name is Victor. Your name is what? Victor. Victor. You mean they allow little children to come on their own like this? Is he lives around or he took transport? No, I came with my parents. Oh, you came with your parents? Yes. Oh, beautiful. What was wrong with you? My eyes was itching me. Your eyes used to eat you? Yes. And then what happened? But now I can't feel it again. You can't feel it again? Yes. To the shame of the devil. <laughs> Father, let this be perfected in the name of Jesus Christ. Who else? Who else, please? Only eye conditions. Okay. Praise God. I had these itchy eyes and it's always bringing out tears. The doctor recommended glasses, but I didn't go back to the doctor because okay. I didn't want to use them. But there, something hit my stomach and my eyes. Where? When I was standing over when there. When you were standing there. Who saw her? Is that true? Okay. Yes, sir. So I... 
and it's gone. Yes. Praise the Lord to the shame of the devil. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, it is perfected, never to return again. From the beginning of this month, I've been having this. I don't know, every time I read, I skip the word or I just go blank. I don't know why. And it started from January. You what? I skip the word. Like when I start reading, I just skip the word or I just go blank. I don't know what happens to me. What and you today, go blank? Epileptic yeah, or something? Today I was in class and my, I was, we were reading. My friend was not asking me, what's wrong with me? I'm reading the word. I'm mixing the word. I'm like, it started since this year. And she's like, okay, that I need glasses. I'm like, I don't need glasses. Oh, when you are reading, yes. the, you will be skipping yes, the words. Yes, I'll skip the words. I'll go blank. And I don't know why. What happened to you now? When we're praying, I laid my hands on my, and my, hands on my eye. And then a light just, just hit me. And my hands touched me. Light shaking, again. You see the light? And my eyes got very hot. And then Your I eyes it got hot. Open, yes. And you felt it open. open. To the shame of the devil, it will never come back again. Read Isaiah 51, just verse 1 and 2. Let's Hanging see. to me, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek the Lord, look unto the rock whence ye are hen, and to the hole of the pit whence ye are digged. Look unto Abraham your father, and unto Sarah that bear you. For I call him alone, and, and blessed, I blessed him, and, blessed him, and, I increased, and increased him. him. God bless you. It never returns in Jesus' name. You too. Yeah. Come. It, okay. It started 2011. Um, I was having a pain in my eyes and an itch. So it's. I feel like um, each time it comes, I feel heaviness in my eyes. You feel heaviness. So in when your I eyes. went to Chica, they told me it's pterygium. That is it's mostly what? pterygium. That is. I'm not supposed to survive. It. That is some. Um, it's prominent among um, old people. So and when I went, they prescribed some medications for me. I went, I went and got them. Right now? So, what but while the prayer was going on, I felt that heaviness was relieved from my eyes. It completely. Yeah. You feel any pain now? No. It's gone completely. Yeah. May it be perfected in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray. Sweetheart, how are you? What's your name? Mercy. We have brilliant children in Koinonia. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us smart children. You came on your own. Brought oh, me. your sister brought you. What was wrong with you? My eyes took your eye used to eat you. Is he eating you now? Yeah. What happened? When, when I was praying, I put my eyes. You played your hand on your eyes. Uh huh. I, I saw that the thing have gone completely. Lord, in the name of Jesus, may it never return. In Jesus' name. All right, the last person. Okay. So my eyes sometimes used to pain me. So, uh, me and my mother, we went to sick bay. They said that I needed classes. Okay. But m since that day, my mother and I never went. So, sometimes I'll, my eye would be itching me. I was okay. like, start, start feeling sleepy. But now it has gone. But now it has gone completely. Thank you, Jesus. May it never return again in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, while... The worship team just leads us in a powerful session of worship. I want you to line up all the sick people, especially if you came here from outside Zaria, please let's give you priority. Just come out quickly and then the rest join them. Please, you came with a sick person, now is the time to heal, to, to, uh, to, for them to receive their healing. Very, very quickly, please, we have a lot to do, time is not on our side. Very quickly, very quickly, worship team, please help us. Hallelujah. Please bring them out quickly. Line them up very quickly. Please help them. Protocol ushers, direct them. Please, let's save time inside and outside. If you are sick, whether you are outside Zaria or not, just come. Please, come out. Now is the time for you to be healed. Thank you, Jesus, for your healing power. Those of us who are seated, begin to pray in tongues, please. My Don't be distracted. God is awesome. He can move that mountain of sickness will be moved right now. Whatever it is. Please keep coming quickly. Come and line, line yourself. As you come, just be praying and say, Lord, this is it. I am parting with this sickness.
jump off mountain. Give me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. Say, my God. Heals me when I'm broken. Strength where I've been weakened. Forever he will reign. My God is awesome. My God is awesome. check yourself begin to check yourself let's pace them very quickly hallelujah as I pray for you please I want you to believe I already sense the healing anointing very strong on my hands and as I pray for you you'll be healed you'll be delivered no matter what it is please don't go back the same you don't have to go back the same you do not have to go back the same no matter what the issue is I want you to know that you are parting with this sickness right now thank you Jesus Lord, I give you praise it's in the name of Jesus Christ.
what's wrong with him? He has what? What's the wait? Hold on. What's the issue? Yes, with my bike. And the leg broke. Wait! You don't try to lift him. This guy had an accident. Look just, at me. Since I when? I think a week ago now. You, you can't walk? The, the nurse bandaged my leg. So then what happened? I started... I couldn't walk very well again, so I removed the bandage. Why did you remove the bandage? Because pulse was going out. Pulse was going out of the leg? Yes. Where is it? Ah, oh, goodness. Look at this. Look at me, brother. Yes, sir. Look at me. He's paining you now. Look at me. Just stretch the leg. Look at me. He's a demon. This is not accident. Thank you, Jesus. Look at everybody is seeing it. I'm happy you're seeing it. Show them, please. Put it on the screen. Now let this leg be healed right now. Right now. In the name of the Christ. Can you see the guy has suddenly become relaxed? This is somebody that could not sit down. Something affected the bone in the accident. I joined this bone back. Now. Who is a witness that he really had the accident? Who knows? You saw him limping when he came. Okay. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Something is happening to you. Thank you, Jesus. I fixed this leg right now. Within days, this thing will dry up. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Walk. Walk. Come. Come. Walk. Come, come, walk. Do what you couldn't do. Just do what you couldn't do. Don't, don't, just do what you couldn't do. He, he's surprised. He's short looking at his leg. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Give Jesus praise. Thank you, Jesus. Look at, look at this. Look at what, hold on. See, the guy, what is happening to you? The leg is drying up. The leg is drying up. Drying you are up. feeling it now. Yes. Everybody clear the way for him. Rush, go and come back. Walk, go and come back. Go down there and come back. Look at this guy could not walk. He had an accident with this leg. Come, walk as fast as you can. Walk as fast as you can. Look at the boy is crying. Look at this. Lift your hands and thank the Lord. No man can do these things except God be with you. This is not for the glory of any man. Lord, we give you praise for that which you are doing in our midst. This leg dries up in the name of Jesus Christ. My God is awesome. He can move mountains, Phew. keep me in the valley, hide me from the rain. My God, heals me when I'm broken, strength when I'm in
Of them, the right. you've never been able to use it mm, except with age, except with an age. Try to move it, I can move it. just where is which one? Which of them? Try to move it, yeah? just do what I'm telling you to do. Try to stamp it. Without this, eh? not far. But can you walk without this? Shortly. Very short. Mm. Can you try right now? Sure. Do you think you can? Hold my hands. Let's try. Stand up. Look at me. If anybody supports you, if someone supports you, will you be able to walk? If nobody supports you, can you walk? You will fall. Yes. Okay, let's see. Try to walk. Come.
Just please. Hold my hands. That devil of diabetes. It's time for you to leave now. Hypertension. You are a spirit. I command you out of her life and out of her family. Mommy be healed now. Now. Take off everything you have put in her stomach and out you go now. Now! Did you bring your prayer requests? Please start passing them quickly. Look at me. God is healing you right now. The power of God is going through your hands. You're being healed right now. Pass your last, pass the request to the last person at the side. Outside, please do the same thing. Let's save time. Everything you have written on this request will be answered in the name of Jesus. Please pass it, pass it quickly. Lord, she's totally free. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Beautiful for all. You are the joy of the whole world. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Beautiful for all. Please bring the request. Quickly, quickly. You are the joy of the whole world. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Please ushers quickly, quickly, quickly. If you don't have your request, write you one quickly. Are the joy of the whole Whole world. You are the great and mighty 
anyone attending to those outside? Those outside, please. Let's have their request. I hope there's a way of getting the ones on fa on Facebook and all of that. If we can't, we can just reach out to them by faith. Please make sure that you have a prayer request. God answers prayers here. Yeah? Please, everybody, rise if you can. Please, this is a very prophetic moment. Please, we'll start praying. The rest can come and join us. The other one. Pastor, please. Praise God. Listen, please understand that this is not a religion that is done every miracle Sunday. This is done on instruction and this is biblical. The Bible says when Ezekiah was threatened, he took the threat letter before God on the altar and dropped it there. Are you getting my point? These requests have threatened the lives and the families of many of us. That's why we are bringing it before God and we are saying, Lord, if you do not step in, nothing can be done. But I want you to know that within the next five minutes or thereabout, as we begin to prophesy and lay hands on this, the angel of the Lord's presence will go to different families, different places and begin to work miracles. Hallelujah. So all you're going to do is just stretch your hands here and be praying in tongues while the worship team leads us in worship. Just keep worshiping as they pray in tongues. Is that okay? Please go ahead. Shekata ba 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 ba. You do wonders in me. Shekata ba 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 kata ba. Unto you that answers prayer will all flesh come. My God, in the name of Jesus, we trust you. Stretch your hands, oh God, and visit your people. Stretch your hands, oh God, and visit your people. Stretch your hands, oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands, O God. Lord, let impossible miracles happen. We bring this before the altar. That which threatens the Christian experience of your people. My God, I pray. That every request here be turned into testimonies. Say faithful God. Let there be deliverance, so God. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, 
Sarapraki Jalima Zatala Broki Jilibana Zataya Rika Lujali Krasatata Pata Shitaba The God of all flesh Jarapakata Shilia Lizari Kapatasha with the glare Lazata Patasha the one that parted the Red Sea Raka Patashi Talaba Ribi Zuri Brani Nekoto Shitalaba Do the impossible right now do the impossible, do the impossible, do the impossible. You break upon the rings and you pat it into two. Do the impossible right now. Behold the request of your people. Behold their heart desires. Let there, let there be miracles now. Intervene now. Intervene now. Intervene now. In the name of Jesus. We declare way where there seems to be no way right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, as a, as a result of an intervention, let there be influx of testimonies. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That which was impossible with men, oh God, will they will declare. That with this request, oh God, let, the, let there be possibility right now. In the name of Jesus. Miracles. Miracles. Open doors. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God, for your great intervention. Thank you, mighty God, for the great turnaround. Bless the be name forevermore. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus. We command that these requests be turned into testimonies. In the name of Jesus, let there be mighty miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, everyone, stand. Everywhere, please stand. I'm about to prophesy into our lives. Lay your hand on our chest. Out now. Release her and go. Now. Hallelujah. And he said to me, prophesy. And I prophesied as I was commanded, not as I wanted. I prophesied as I was commanded. And there was a sound, a rattling sound, and bones began to be joined to bones. And he said unto me, Son of man, prophesy to the four winds. And I prophesied, O wind, breathe upon the slain. And the wind came and breathed upon the slain, and there stood an exceeding great army. I want to prophesy over your life. I want you to shout amen at the top of your voice. Please believe it. Prophecy is creative. Hallelujah. Please play strings. Thank you, Father, because you always hear me when I call. Lord, as I prophesy over your people, let it not be a ritual, I pray. Nothing will happen if your power does not make it happen. Therefore, I pray that the angels that confirm the words of his messengers, may they back this word and bring it to pass. Let this word become your word, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let this word become your word, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let this word become your word, O God. Hallelujah. 
hallelujah and Melchizedek blessed Abraham and said blessed be Abraham son of the most high possessor of the heavens and the earth and the prophet said in Samaria by this time tomorrow by this time tomorrow the Bible says believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established he said believe in his prophets and you shall prosper by a prophet he brought them out of Egypt and by a prophet they were preserved he says he that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet will receive a prophet's reward do the impossible do the impossible i'm not singing just concentrate my god would you step in and do the impossible do the impossible change the unchangeable Change the unchangeable, my God. Step in to the impossible, to the impossible. Please lift your hands. In the name that is above all names. The name that causes demons to tremble. The name that causes breakthrough and deliverance. I command right now. Let there be supernatural restoration for everything that you have lost. Restoration now restoration now restoration by the power of the holy ghost receive restoration everything you have lost for whatever reason it was lost i command restoration of opportunities in the name of jesus restoration of destiny help us restoration of the years that the canker worm has eaten now hallelujah every handwriting against your destiny that has said 2014 will be a year of frustration in the name that is above all names be cancelled now 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 in the book of job he says in six things will he deliver you yea in seven things and one of them is the scourging tongues of men when men sit down and make enchantments in the name of the God that I serve every cause every pronouncement over your life because now because now because now, because now. Then the Bradisha la Cabaro Satana Malahatia. For he has broken the gates of brass and he has caught. 
the iron in sunder my god i pray every door that has been closed over your people in the name that is above all names if god be in this place i command those two leaf gates be open now be open now i prophesy be open now by the power of prophecy be open now everyone called jobless in this place in the name that is above every other name Satele Kabande Kretisaka Ashatete Balakata Bregede Balada Bagada Baga. Is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness? And they brought Mephibosheth, a man who was not qualified, but the favor of God made him to sit at table with David. I pray by the favor of God, wherever you need favor for jobs. I prophesy receive it now receive it now from the north to the south to the east to the west I command jobs every man that has said over his dead body for you to move forward may his prophecy come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ I want to break that power that limits men every limitation every embargo that has been placed over your life that is said thus far have you come I speak from the heavens in the name of Jesus limitations be lifted now be lifted now be lifted now I command break records break records set new records do what has not been done I pray for everyone whose family member is overdue to be promoted the Bible says withhold not good from who him who is due when it is within your power to do so it is within their power to bring the promotion therefore i pray in the name that is above all names we enforce that promotion now we enforce it now everything that has died in your life hear ye the word of the lord come alive now dead relationships come alive now I pray for your academics for he has given me the tongue of the planet that I may know how to speak the word induces into him that is weary he said my tongue is the pen of the right the ready writer my heart has indicted a good matter yea i speak of excellent things daniel was made 10 times better he said i will give you a wisdom and a mouthpiece that your enemies will not be able to resist nor gain say that when you stand before them you shall not think of what to say for in that very hour it will be the spirit of your father speaking I pray everyone call doll I change that testimony now everyone on probation we take you out of it now we take you out of it now everyone on probation we take you out of it now every missing script every injustice done to everyone i command the angel of the lord to go to every department every faculty let justice be done in the name of jesus i 
and everyone that has found that you will not graduate in the name that is above all names we graduate you right here we graduate you right here in the name of jesus christ we graduate you right here that cause of hardship that is upon our families they walk like elephants and eat like ants tonight in the name that is above all names let that cause of hardship be lifted let it be lifted i speak to every job here receive increase i speak to every business here grow i command you to grow i speak to every ministry expand and break levels in the name of jesus christ let the favor of god that can mark you and distinguish you among your peers i prophesy may that mantle of favor hit you where you are in the name of jesus christ may that favor hit you where you are in the name of jesus may that favor hit you where you are may that favor change you may it cause men to bless you hallelujah and i pray may the presence of god go with you everywhere you go everyone struggling with any habit here that is not of god pornography masturbation whatever it is it ends here tonight in the name of jesus christ it ends here tonight in the name of jesus christ it ends here tonight in the name of jesus christ every dead spiritual life every dead prayer life every dead word study life in the name that is above all names come alive now receive the fire for prayer take it take it take it take it take it take it the fire for prayer take it the spirit of prayer and supplication take it let it come upon you like a tornado in the name of jesus grace to pray grace to study grace to understand hallelujah every hidden gift every hidden talent every ability that can bless you that has refused to arise i pray the bible says the gift of a man makes room i pray every hidden gift that the devil has buried i prophesy let it come alive and bless you now let it come alive and bless you now Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. When I cried. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. One more time. Thank you for lifting. 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 Thank you for lifting my head. Hallelujah. Please remain standing. There are people here tonight who are saying, I'm tired of my life. 
I'm tired of living my life the way I want. I need to surrender my life to a God that is higher and greater than me. Some of you have probably given your heart to the Lord. Please listen. But tonight Jesus is calling. You may have a Christian name. That's not the same as salvation. You may even be a pastor. That's not the same as salvation. Tonight the Lord is calling many of you who have been living your lives your own way to relinquish that hold and surrender it completely. I'm going to make an altar call. Just one to five. I want you to run from outside, from inside. Please run like your life depends on it. You are saying, Lord, I am tired. Take it. Take it. It is yours and I'm giving it back to you. I am tired of living life my own way. I have done my best. I relinquish that whole one. Please rush quickly. Celebrate them as they come. Two. Uh -huh. Just come and as you stand here, just begin to pray. And say, Lord, take over. Take over. That's the song. God bless you. You are saying, Lord, I surrender everything. I've been living my life the way I want. But tonight, I'm in business with you. Four. Please don't let anybody stop you from coming. Don't let the devil say you are too far. Start running from there. Young and old. Join us. If you are coming, please keep running. Don't let the devil stop you. Don't let your friend or your family members stop you. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you for all those coming. Thank you for that bold step. Don't let your friend stop you. Thank you. Our mother is coming. God bless you. God bless you. No matter how old, no matter how young, Jesus is calling you tonight. God is still speaking to you. You are saying, Jesus, take everything. Take over. I'm tired of living my life my own way. I give to you. hallelujah i salute every one of you for coming don't make this an emotional decision mean it from the depths of your heart no matter what you have done wrong no matter how you've lived your life i want you to know that there is a fountain that flows from emmanuel's veins and that fountain flows to bless you it flows to wash you it flows to cleanse you lift your right hand and say this from the depths of your heart Please, you're not reciting a poem. This is between you and the Lord Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I come before you. Unable to help myself. I ask you to help me. Cleanse me. Wash me. With your precious blood. I truly repent of my sins. In the name of Jesus, I receive eternal life into my spirit from today. No backsliding. Some of you, as you are praying this, I tell you, the power of the devil will be broken. All of the chains. You're going to say, Satan, I denounce you right now. Take your hands and live my life. I declare that I'm saved. I'm a child of God. The Lord will use me to do mighty things for his glory. I cut away from wrong associations and everything that takes your place in my life. From today, I'm sold out and totally surrendered. Now keep your hands lifted. Father, bless these ones. You have brought them, use them mightily. Let the power of sin be broken in their lives. Let the power of the grave be broken. Let the power of the flesh be broken. Anoint them and use them mightily, O oh God. Let this not be a, an emotional decision. Let this be a genuine decision. In the name of Jesus. Make mighty men out of them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Congratulations. I want you to look at me. 
I congratulate you for this great decision. Everyone here made this decision at one point. Now I'd like you to just follow our ushers. There's a wonderful sister waving her hand. I want you to just follow them. They'll have, they'll give you some information and they'll meet with you tomorrow. God bless you. Please follow them. Follow them very quickly, please. All those worshipping with us for the first time, if this is your first time here at Koinonia, we love you. Please leave your seat and run out here quickly and let us pray and speak a word of blessing. God bless you. If this is your first time, wherever you are, just run and come. There is a special blessing for you. Don't wait for your neighbor. You are the first person. Koinonia, is this the best you can do for them? Thank you. Thank you for coming. We celebrate you. We honor you. We thank you. Keep coming. Don't stop. We have a prayer for you and we have a blessing. And all those who took the pain to invite anybody here, may God invite all the blessings you need in your life. I'm very serious. I'm not just saying it. If anyone came here as a result of your invitation, I pray that my God will invite every good thing and every good person into your life in Jesus' name. Thank you for coming. This is Koinonia. We love you. We bless you. I believe you are blessed tonight. You will never be the same in the name of Jesus. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.